Hello, this is Rocco, PJ from Rocco's Artworks, and we're still going to show you how to make a little one. This is our bottle. This is a six gallon jar we got from the home brew. And we filled it about, about a third, quarter to a third of the way with fruit. Okay, so we got our fruit in our jar. That's, that's uh, one of the main things. Now over here, we took a pot, filled it about halfway to three quarters with water, put a little heat to it, and we're going to dissolve our sugar this time in water to show you how uh, a little better and quicker way. When this is some of the ways to refine your recipe, you can uh, dissolve your sugar in water to give you a more even saturation in your bottle. Or, or, um, it makes the uh, it makes your disperses the sugar a little more evenly throughout the wine. You know, you can just dump it in there. That would be fine. But this way, uh, you make like a simple syrup. I would imagine they call it, or uh, the sugar water. Okay, get all that in there. Oh, get all that in there. Okay. Now, your water level's rising. That's why you don't want to fill it to the top to begin with. Okay? So we got all that sugar in there. <coughs> now, I had two four pound bags in there to begin with. So this is four, eight, 12. Then I got two pounds of uh, brown sugar. This is gonna be a little special. Make it a little sweeter. And this will be a total of uh, four, eight, 12 and two is 14 pounds, okay? So we're gonna have 14 pounds, we can use the to cut, cut the edge of this. We're gonna cut the edge. <coughs> and this is gonna be a little brown sugar to give it a little different taste, okay? So, this is a six gallon jug. I've never tried a six gallon jug before. I made five gallon jugs. So uh, it's gonna have a gallon more water. So we wanna have a little more sugar. It's between 10 and 12 gal 10 and 12 pounds of sugar for five gallons. So this is six gallons, and we're gonna put 14. We'll go at about 14. How's that sound? Sound like a good number to you? Alright! Here we go. All right, now we got our sugar in there. Now we got some brown sugar. Brown sugar. Rolling stone. All right. And we're gonna dissolve this. Now this is just a big vat of simple syrup. If you know how to make simple syrup, you feed the uh, hummingbirds with some simple syrup. And you gotta remember, clean the hummingbird uh, feeder because they get in this mold and it's really hurting them and, and uh, doing some damage to them. So if you love the hummingbird, you want to feed them, you don't want to hurt them. Okay, so we're melting the sugar. Okay, now we got some brown sugar. I think that dissolved really good, so we're gonna get a little circular motion and uh, let that sit and um, then we're going to take the sugar in the water and put it in our container here and uh, mm. fill it up as much as that will fill up the rest of this water. A little pinch of yeast. We're going to take our, got all our sanitizer. Everything needs to be sanitized. Your spoons, everything. So keep it clean. Um, this is the uh, airlock, a double bubble. Um, uh, they got a couple of different names for it, but this is what you want to keep uh, keep the air out. Okay, and then a little plug goes in the top of the uh, jar or jug. Okay, so we're gonna put. It's got. <coughs> 
<clears throat> it's got two little pieces where to fill it to about the about there. No more than that, okay? It's got a line, it tells you. And everything's coming out of the cleaner, the sanitizer. You want to use this sanitizer. Uh, let's see, here it is. Uh, Star Sand. This is a good brand that the guy recommended at the uh, at the brew place. Okay, he's in Covington, or Beta. He's in Beta, right by us. And okay, we're gonna put that on there right now, just to keep keep it fresh, because this is all sanitized. The inside's been cleaned. They got a cleaner. I think it's a five-star cleaner. Let's see. Uh, PBW five star cleaner. Okay, clean it. You're gonna clean everything, and then you uh, put your sanitizer, run it through some sanitizer, and you you wanna uh, keep it fresh and clean. Okay, that's the main thing. Okay, we're gonna come back over here and turn our turn our heat off. Stir our syrup around a little bit more. This is so simple. Uh, a monkey could do it. A monkey can do it. Okay. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. Right. So we got our water. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I got a hose that I bought from the, uh, the supply shop. It's good. It's a nice guy in there. I really like him. He's a fireman too. He's a nice fellow. And uh, I can't remember his name right now, but uh, I like going in there and talking to him because he tells me stuff that I didn't know and I learned from him. And that's why I'm here to share with you a little bit I learned from him. The more I go there, the more I get, and hopefully I'll share with you. I'm going to siphon this from here into the jug. Okay, so I'm going to put my jug on the floor. Okay, I'm going to take this, set it down on the, on the floor. Okay, now you really don't want to be putting your mouth on here to siphon. So what you do is you fill this with water. Okay, fill your tube with water, like so, okay, now once you got the tube filled with water, grab the or feed it into the, uh, that back in the sanitizer. Grab your feet it into the jug. Okay? So here we go. I'm gonna stick one end in here, one end in there. And there we go. Sure enough, it's flowing. And the pot's going down. Should be time for a joke. How do you hold your favorite liquor? Body ears! Ah! Okay. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> Here we go. We're letting it wind down. Okay. I'm glad we turned the heat off because you don't want to put it in here. You don't want to put the water in to the fruit when it's too hot or too warm. And you definitely don't want to put the yeast in while your water is hot because you'll kill the yeast. I think the, the, the temperature is between 65 and 70 degrees is where you want your yeast when you want to add the yeast. I think that's the, uh, according to the book anyway, that's the favorable temperature. So, here we go, my the simple syrup or sugar water. 
It's going down. That's draining. Two. I okay. This is Rocco again, and uh, PJ and Rocco, and uh, we took our water. Okay, that was our, our simple syrup, which uh, turned out a little brown because I put some brown sugar in it. And uh, we have our apples. This is apple wine. This is gonna be some good stuff. Okay, we got our apple wine. <coughs> now we're gonna finish filling the jug up, but we're only gonna fill to this line, okay? Because it's gonna expand and the fruit's gonna swell, and the next thing you know, you're gonna have stuff running out all over the place. So we're gonna come to about uh, about the top right here. So let me put some water. I got a little funnel. Uh, you get some water. I'm gonna put some cool water in here this time because I want the temperature down between 65 and 70 for the yeast to go in because too hot of water will kill the yeast. So you don't want to do that. No. Oh no. And uh, how you like that little bit of orange zero on? That was really good. Okay. So, all right, here we go. We got some water. And we are going to fill it up the rest of the way. Okay, here we go. It's going to take a couple of pots. So. This is really good. This is going to be some good stuff. I'm telling you. Just let it sit. Leave it alone. It does all the work. Took a little while to peel those apples. And uh, they are clean. They are sweet. You want to put them in water too when you're peeling them. So they don't turn brown on you. Okay. So while we were peeling them. Uh, we stuck them in a pot of water. Keep them from turning brown so they look nice. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Don't mind all that. Now we're rolling. This is coming out good. This is going to be real good. And uh, 30 days from today, today is approximately the 25th, I believe. So the 25th of next month, we're going to make a video, show y'all how to drink wine. We're going to get rocked. Get it, rock those. All right, let me come with some more water. Oh, man. The anticipation is building up of drinking this wine. Simple, simple, simple. It's gonna be good too. Now this is how you do a large quantity. When I did a smaller jug, um, I just poured the sugar in there. But this time I made a simple syrup. You know, dissolve the sugar in the water. That way it distributes it evenly a little bit more throughout the uh, throughout the jug, the water, and the fruit. Okay, going to take one or two more pots of water and uh, we'll be cleaning our uh, our airlock. Double bubble, whatever they call it. We're going to cut that in some sanitizer. We had some hamburgers earlier. They were good. And uh, coming up soon, I'm going to introduce y'all to the blue guy. Good friend of mine, helping me make this video. Super guy. And uh, we owe this to him. Because he don't drink wine. I don't know what's wrong with that boy. Okay, I see my water level coming up. So we getting there. Let's see. That's not water. 
It's about right there. Okay, we good on the water. We good on the water. We're gonna let it sit right down. Okay. Now we're gonna take our airlock. Oh, we gotta put our yeast. I can't forget the yeast. Now the water's still a little warm, so uh, like I said, I got a thermometer. When you get when you get more into this, you'll need a thermometer to test the temperature of the water. And you see, you want it about right there. They got a little line on there. I don't know if y'all can see that. They got a little line. It says fill to here. Take a dummy to miss that. And wouldn't you know, I missed it the first time. Okay. So, all right. Now we're going to put this on here just to keep it keep it clean keep it everything out okay now comes the yeast I have the red star that I got from the brew shop I was using just regular yeast bread yeast <coughs> from the grocery store but uh, the guy at the wine shop said use this red star because it'll uh, make the wine taste better he said this will give it a little uh, bread taste so we're gonna go with this and normally uh, if I was making a smaller quantity I would just put the yeast in but because it's a bigger quantity I'm gonna dissolve this in some water for the same reason so it distributes a little more evenly throughout the jug and not just a lump of yeast in there you can do it that way but uh, you refine your methods as you go along. Okay, so let me get a little bit of water. I'm getting a pot and out of our sanitized stuff. Okay, here we go. All right. Get a little bit of water. I'm gonna put a little water in there. That should be plenty enough. Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And, <coughs> Believe it or not, my water is still uh, still a little warm. So you want to let this cool down, okay? I would add the yeast right now just to show you and making the video. But what I'm going to do is take the yeast, put, uh, the guy at the wine store says put the whole pack, okay? I like to put about a little pinch in your palm, two or three pinches like pinch of salt <coughs> and a pinch of yeast okay so I'm going to add it to show y'all this right now about that much that's one pinch about that much that's two pinches okay all right you got your yeast in there and I'm going to stir it up a little bit <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. And the yeast is rolling. Okay, it's really thriving off of that water. Alright. And uh, right now, I would just take this off and pour it in. But it's still warm. So, in order not to ruin all of this fruit peel and then that, I'm going to let it sit overnight like this, okay? In the morning, I'm going to add this yeast when the temperature drops a little, okay? So, don't add your yeast too soon because it will kill it. The water will kill your yeast and your wine won't come out as good. Plus, when you use the whole pack of the yeast, uh, the wine didn't seem to have as much kick. It seemed like it uh, had a little more alcohol and I used a little less yeast to me. So... Uh, I'm gonna put this in a refrigerator uh, <coughs> and keep it cool so it doesn't uh, start reacting so much, okay? Because this living organism, it's already going to town, boy. <coughs> We're gonna put it in there. I got some strawberries in there. That's for the next batch. Okay, let that sit in there. And uh, don't step on it, blue people. 
so put that back in the sanitizer. Oh, we're not gonna use that yeast. Whoa. And we're gonna pull this over. And in the morning, I am gonna pour that in there. So we're gonna uh, show you. This is some strawberry wine that we already had made up. This is some strawberry wine that we already had made up. This is gonna be some good stuff, man. See, it's got a little of the pulp from the fruit, but don't mind that. Um, I wanted to put something to keep the air in here. We're gonna stick it in the freezer, in the refrigerator, pardon me, in the refrigerator. And uh, I think we're gonna drink the rest of that tonight. And this will be ready in three weeks. That's gonna take three weeks. Some caps we use, a uh, wine book. I'm gonna add a little honey in this. I'm gonna put a little honey. We got some brown sugar. I'm gonna add a little honey. And uh, the guy at the brew shop tells me more sugar, more alcohol. So we're gonna put a little more honey. I like to pump up the volume. That's it for Rocco's today. And uh, we're gonna see y'all on the next little video. Look forward to seeing you. This is a blast. Okay, take care. Bye.